So we've got a new doodle here. <laughs> she just got here. Her name is Maxie. And she's just meeting Riker the doodle and Hazel the doodle and Ella the bully girl. We are the Woofer Walkers Dog Services out of Richmond, British Columbia, Canada. And we are a doggy daycare, also a dog hotel and resort, and most importantly, a dog sanctuary. Oh, look who it is, it's Ollie! Ollie, hi Ollie! Ollie Ogilvy's here! <laughs> hi Ollie! So these are some of the woofers that we're watching today and walking today. Hence the name, the Woofer Walkers. <laughs> oh, it looks like, it looks like the new girl, Maxie, is gonna have a really fun day. Hazel really likes her. Doodles just seem to love each other. Riker's loving her, I can tell. <laughs> Aw, how cute is that? Hi. Welcome. Welcome, Maxie. Welcome. Welcome to the Woofer Walkers Doggy Daycare Resort and Sanctuary. So what I was going to say is we're also a dog sanctuary, most importantly, which means that we have woofers that live here. We've got 13 of them right now that actually live here and uh, that we've taken in. They, each one of them has a story as to why we had to take them in. Actually, that guy right there, Chance. Hi, Chancey. Chance. Chance. Chance is our latest addition to our dog sanctuary. Chance. He thinks he's a watchdog. It's kind of cute because he's actually the friendliest dog ever. Oh, look who's here. It's Oliver. We got two Olivers here today. Um, this is... Ollie the Doodle, and that's Cookie. Ollie is here for, um, he's actually gonna be staying with us for a couple months. Ollie is, um, he's been experiencing some problems at home. He's got some chemical imbalances that make him reactive with, with his people and his, um, his dog sister sometimes. So we decided to take him in and see if we can maybe help with any of his problems, or at least give his family a break um, for a little while so they can uh, they can just relax and not have to worry about about that right now and just also go on their they were gonna go on a nice vacation and we want them to enjoy their vacation without having to worry about things so we're taking Ollie in for a while look at how well this girl is doing Maxie you're so good at this Maxie's mummy tells me that she actually used to go to a doggy daycare in Coquitlam, so it's no wonder that she's so good at meeting other woofers. Hi, Maxie. Hi, Hazel. Hazel's like, yay, another girl woofer. Another girl doodle. It's a beautiful day here. It is, um, what day is it, Andy? I think it's Friday Eve, which AKA Thursday. We like to call Thursday Friday Eve, just like Christmas Eve. <laughs> the Eve before Friday. Look at that girl. Look at that girl. I am so pleased. You've only been here less than five minutes and you're already fitting right in. You fit right in. What other woofers do we have here? Oh, Riker really likes her. See, I tell you, man, doodles. Doodles love each other. <laughs> This is little Saina. She's here for doggy daycare. Hi, Saina. She's a corgi, but you might notice something a little different about her. She has a tail, corgi with a tail. You don't see too many of those. You're gonna see more of them um, in Richmond because they don't let them dock their tails anymore. Um, they've passed a law so that they can't dock the tails here. But um, yeah, I think she looks beautiful with her tail. She's such a pretty girl. One thing about Sena, I don't know if you noticed it. I'll show you a close-up of her face in a little bit, but she actually looks like a pretty little girl dog. Sena, see your little face? Like some dogs, you, you can't tell right off the bat if they're a boy or a girl, but Sena is obviously a girl because she is so pretty. Oh, here's Chance. Speaking of good-looking woofers, this is the one that I was talking about. Chance is um, our newest addition 
into our dog sanctuary. I think that he's probably a chow chow mixed with a shepherd and a black lab. He is a perfect beast. Oh, look at these guys go. Chance's story is that his dad brought him here um, last December for a month while he went on vacation to Hong Kong. And sadly, his dad was diagnosed with cancer while he was there. And um, long story short, he asked us if we would adopt Chance because he's not sure when he's gonna be able to, come, if and when he's gonna be able to come back. So we're rooting for your dad, Chance, but um, he, Chance, he will always have a home, a forever home here if need be. Hi, Sana. Pretty baby. Hi, pretty baby. Hi, pretty baby. This is Angus. He's a Pomeranian. This is Moxie. She's also a Pomeranian. She likes to clean everybody. We call her Lil Mama. These are my babies. This is Leo. Leo is one of our sanctuary woofers. He came here uh, before Chance did. He was a local um, dog that was neglected and uh, the people were moving away and leaving him behind. So uh, the neighborhood tagged us on Facebook and asked us if we would take in Leo. And of course we said yes. That beautiful bully girl there is Ella. She's here on an extended vacation right now while her people are on their very own vacation. Ella is um, a beautiful girl. Look at her. Look at that face. Angus, you always want all the attention. Yeah, this is Andy. He's my other my other kid. All my children are Pomeranians. Hi. The little Andy, one-eyed Andy. Ollie's here. I'm so glad that you're here, Oliver. Ollie Ogilvy. Little white guy. That's Chara. She's another one of our sanctuary woofers. She's from Thailand, from an organization called Soy Dog, spelled S-O-I, and they rescue dogs from the illegal dog meat trade in Thailand. And um, if anybody's interested in helping with that cause, oh, also Dahlia right there. She's also from Soy Dog. They are permanent residents here at our dog sanctuary. Um, if anybody would like any in, um, information about Soy Dog and how you can help them, uh, maybe with a donation, or if you're interested in doing some volunteer work in Thailand, or whatever. Um, hit us up in our DMs, send us a message, give us a phone call, whatever you want to do. And we'll send you the, we'll give you the info, because they could use all the help they can get. It's a wonderful cause. Barney is playing with the new girl. Look at the play bow. Barney's playing with the new girl. Good boy, Barney! Wow, Barney's doing play bows. He really likes Maxie. Everybody loves Maxie. Maxie's a girl. Why you got hiccups? You've been drinking on the job again, Wolfer Watcher Amanda? <laughs> Lemon water. Sure. <laughs> Amanda's got hiccups, poor thing. And Hazel the Doodle, like, oh, there's another one of our um, sanctuary woofers, that little chihuahua. That is Cholula. Where'd she go? Cholula. Cholula, where are you? Hi, oh, you're having a pee. <laughs> Cholula the Chihuahua is from Mexico. She, come, she came to us from a rescue organization called Positive Rescue. Um, their foster had fallen through and they asked us if we would temporarily foster her and we said yes of course and we ended up letting her stay at the sanctuary because as much as she drives me crazy because she does she likes to eat things stop eating stuff Shalula. she likes to poop on the wall she does all kinds of crazy things I know I'm defaming you um, but I love her because she's like super sweet actually stop eating things stop it um, but most of all, because she is super playful, super active. So 
we always have somebody here to play with the daycare woofers. So that's important because sometimes, you know, if it's slow, um, you know, you need, you need somebody to start the party. <laughs> Looks like, wow, Barney's just having the best day. Look at that Barney go. Really, really, really likes Maxie. This is adorable. Like, really, really likes Maxie. Maxie! Burn! Oh, that's Chance now. Chancy, too. Chancy likes her, too. Well, she's a hit. You passed. You passed the enrollment process, Maxie. You get to stay. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be very happy to tell your mom that you have passed your daycare trial. This was her first day, as I said, and she's just only been here, like what, as long as this video. Hi, Bill. Oh, this is Bill. This is my fourth child. His name is Billy. He's also a Pomeranian. So we've got Andy, Billy, Moxie, and the black one, Angus, that you saw before. Those are my four kids. Because I don't have other kids. These are my, these are my kids, right? Yeah, hi, Bill. They're my little babies. This is Allie. She's uh, a German Shepherd and she is about, oh, I don't know, like, how old are you, nine? And she is also one of our sanctuary dogs. Woofers, pardon me. She came to us obviously nine years ago and um, she started out as a client's dog, and a, a dog walking client and um, ended up getting rehomed to live with us because uh, her mommy couldn't take care of her. Oh my goodness, look how much fun. What, you know, I'm telling you, when the sun comes out, everybody's just in a better mood. Tippy, this is Tippy. She is a three-legged woofer and she is on an extended vacation right now while her mommy is on vacation. Oop. <laughs> Hi! Oh, there's Dahlia, our Thai girl. Oh, there's Angus. There's Zella. Hi guys. So let's have a peek. Let's have a peek. Oh, that's Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Chloe is here for daycare every single day. She is Cholula's best friend and soul sister. They even, they do everything together. They eat together, they sleep together, they play together, they even get sick together. It's like real sisters. So over here on the deck, we've got them, these guys separated because, well, they're bigger and they're they're kind of wild. They like to play high, high energy play style. So we've got, um, some of them actually are crossovers. They can be on both sides. Like this beautiful girl, Ruka. Ruka is gentle with the littles. So she can be on this side with the big kids, playing rough. Or she can be on that side with the not so wild kids. Although those doodles are pretty wild today. <laughs> Anyways, this is Cookie. Hi, Cookie. Cookie's here. She can be on both sides as well. This is Poppy. Poppy can be on the other side, but not till later in the day because when she's first here, she's you can see she's an extra large girl, actually an XXL girl. Um, she is part um, St. Bernard and Bernie's Mountain Dog. And she has a lot of energy when she first gets here. Not, not not so agile with her feet so sometimes she does accidentally step on the littles or sit on them so we keep her on this side until she's good and tired and guess who's back today we have not seen AC in a very 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 long time this is AC she started coming to see us as a puppy just a little potato a little brown potato and now she's grown up into a beautiful girl 
Kuma has missed her, as you can see. Kuma is the, the Malinois shepherdy girl playing with her. And we're just so happy to have her back. We've got Stella. Stella is one of our new daycare woofers. Hi, Stella. She is a staffy mixed with a, oh boy, was it pit staff? Pity staff? Yeah. Yeah, and she is such an ambassador for her breeds because she is the, the best girl ever. And that's Max. He's a husky cross. Oh, Dogo, or, so, do, sorry, she's a Dogo Argentine mixed with a Staffy. That's what she is, yeah. Hi, Max. Oh, and this, of course. <laughs> this is the most annoying boy in the world, but we love him so much. This is Scout. It's not his fault. He's a Border Collie and an Aussie mixed together. So he really does need a job. He's always bothering us to throw the ball. He always wants to herd everybody. But that's his job, right? That's what he does. I think I gotta go and meet, meet, meet some of the, oh, Mr. B, how could we forget the B? This is Mr. Belvedere. He's a puggle, which is a pug and a beagle mixed together. He's a senior man and he is also here on vacation, staying at our doggy hotel and resort. Hello, Mr. Belvedere. He's actually super cute, look at him. Hello, B. And he loves to sun himself. Is there anybody inside I'm missing? Let's see, did I miss anyone? I got, oh, Ollie, I saw that, Ollie. I saw that, Ollie. Oh, Kabu, hi, there's Kabu. Gonna let Kabu out. Bill, you go in your spot. Good boy. This is Kabu, he's a smoke gray border collie. He is still learning how to socialize. So he does have moments where he gets a little bit scared and then he'll do like a fight or flight reaction. So we're gonna let him out now, but we want to, I have to keep my eyes on him because there's a new woofer here and there's all those doodles are like, you know, getting pretty high, high, um, high energy play and that kind of makes him nervous. Come on, come on, Kabu, come out in the sun. But it's important that he's around that. So we have to expose him to that as much as possible. We have to expose him to it as much as possible so he just gets used to it. Good boy, Cabs. Good boy, Kabu. Good boy, Kabu. It's really the only way to socialize a dog is to have them in social situations and let them make mistakes. And so that way you can correct them and that's the only way for them to learn. Of course, a controlled environment is the most th important thing, right? He's very interested in the new girl. Good boy, Kabu. So yeah, that's, um, there's lots more actually to our resort, but we aren't opening up Woofer Park right now because it got really rained on and it's very muddy. So we're just gonna use these parts right now. And as soon as the weather allows us to have a dry half acre in the back, we will be reopening Woofer Park. Happy Thursday, everybody. Oh, look at you. Look at you, Chancy. Adorable. Take care, y'all. We'll make more videos as the day goes by. We'll be posting them to our YouTube channel. And also we have a Facebook page. We have two Facebook pages, but we have one called the Woofer Walkers Picks and Vids. Or sorry, the Woofer Walkers Dog Services Picks and Vids, where we post all the pictures, the good, the bad, the ugly, every single evening after work, um, after we close and during the day. If you want to see pics of dogs, I'm par pardon me, of woofers.